Okay, for my next example in expected value, uh, let's go back to the casino and consider the game of roulette. Okay, so if you wager one dollar on a single number in this game, then this will give you a win of thirty-five dollars if the number comes up. Uh, most of the time, of course, your number will not come up. And so we'd like to find the expected value of this bet. So I remind you on the roulette wheel there are 38 slots and we assume that the chance of any one of these slots uh, coming up will be equally likely and so therefore the chance of any one of them coming up is 1 out of 38 and so therefore we can distill down our expected value calculation into basically just two outcomes, namely a win and a loss. The win has a chance 1 out of 38 and the value to us is $35. The loss carries a probability of 37 out of 38 and carries a value of negative $1 because we're going to lose our bet in that case. And the answer is a negative 2 out of 38 or a negative 1 out of 19. Now of course on any one play of this game you're not going to lose uh, 1 19th of a dollar which is a little over 5 cents. Uh, you will either lose your bet most likely or if you're lucky then you will win your bet. So what does this tell us? Well, it tells us that in the long run, if you play this game many times, on the average, you will lose a little over five cents each time you play. Okay, so this leads us to the following definition of games. The game is fair if it has an expected value of zero. Okay, so if I ask you on a quiz or a test if the game is fair, this is what I'm asking you. What is the expected value? Is the expected value zero? Yes, then the game is fair. If it is anything other than zero, then the game is unfair. Okay, so my next example, we have a lottery. Person playing the lottery is going to pay one dollar to play and for that one dollar the person gets the right to choose a three digit number, zero, zero, zero up to nine, nine, nine. If the number comes up, then the player wins $500. Okay, so we would like to find the expected value of this game. Okay, so once again, there are basically only two outcomes that we are interested in. We are interested in a win or a loss. Okay, and the win uh, has probability one out of a thousand. So this will be our probability row here. And the value to us, and this we need to be a little careful here because if we're not careful then we're going to write down five hundred dollars for the value of the win but the value of the win is not 
quite $500 because we had to pay a dollar to play the game. Okay, so if we get a payoff of 500, what we really won is not 500, but 499, isn't it? Okay, so we have value $499 for the win. The loss, probability 999 out of 1,000. And then we lose the dollar that we paid to play the game. Okay, so therefore the expected value is 1 out of 1,000 times 499 plus 999 out of 1,000 times negative 1. Okay, this works out to negative 500 out of 1,000 or a negative 50 cents. Okay, so again, on any given play of this game, you can't lose 50 cents. You're either going to lose your dollar, most likely, or if you're lucky, you will uh, get the $500. So what does this expected value tell us? Well, it tells us if we play this game many times, on average, we're going to lose 50 cents for each time that we play it. Okay, so is the game fair? Well, no, of course not. Game is not fair. You will not find any fair games out there unless you arrange them yourself in your home. Um, there are no fair games in casinos, no fair state lotteries, um, obviously because these uh, organizations have to make money. They don't run it uh, just to entertain people, they run these games to make money.